great. Well, yeah, good. You, you definitely can't. All right, welcome to episode 151. That's too far away for you to cigar see. Cigar <laughs> What? That's too far away for you to see. I can see the Brian's got a gray shirt on. I can see the gray shirt. Are you going to call him Brian the entire time? I already called him the nanny. I figured until you introduce him. And then no, I won't really respond if you call me Brian. I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, so now when you speak, you have to be right on the mic. Right okay, on the microphone. Sense. See? It has to tickle yeah. your bottom lip. Mm. Yeah, he loves saying that. He, he hates when I say that. And shot in the beat. So, so we have a special guest today? Yes, we have the nanny yeah. here today. Yes, the, 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 the infamous it's, nanny. It's the manny. It's oh, the manny. I always refer to him as the nanny. Yes, I know, but I feel like that, that isn't appropriate. Let's see. <laughs> oh, by the way, we're gonna have to take things away from him. <laughs> First time on the podcast, so uh, you know, no tapping. I think it doesn't work here. The guys yeah, thank you. Quick, get fired. What, you got, what are you gonna do about the guys downstairs? Oh, which guys? The guys next door. You mean the? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. First, we'd like to mention the incessant knocking and hammering and everything. They're doing renovations next door. It's a high class show. What, what do you want from us? Yeah. Yes, we could. Should, I guess we should have added more sound proofy. We've spared no expense. So Brian is my brother-in-law. And he was in town. He was driving back from work, and I uh, said, "Hey, why don't you come on the podcast?" So he's going to get. Uh, oh, we're going to make him a star. He's going to be subjected so to some cruel and unusual punishment. Um, oh, squirt gun? No squirt gun. <laughs> Mr. Shave Paul? the eyebrow? Uh, I mean, that's up to him. You know, I mean, he is the guy that has the Postanya tattoo. That is I true. Am. Before I you, am. before Chet, yes. before the hustler mafia. Yes. Before it was the he's cool thing. Actually, yeah. family though. I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you know, but I mean, if I divorced my wife, then we wouldn't be family, and he still has that. Pain. I don't. I don't know, know about that. Because my wife just got on a plane to go to a funeral for her her ex husband's father. Oh, well, that's interesting. So, are the strippers coming over tonight or tomorrow? Tomorrow. 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 Yeah. You want to have back? So, make till Friday. Cushion, just in case something happens. Yeah. You, yeah. you don't want the flight to get canceled. Right. Or, and then, yeah. then they come back, and then oh, so hard to hide strippers. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you put them all? <laughs> Where do you put them? Right. There's <laughs> only so many closets you can put them in. So before we get into uh, the whole podcast, yes, I mean I have three awesome cigars that I'm really intrigued to smoke on the Patreon. <gasps> so three? Yeah, there's three here. And if you, you have three, we have none. Do we all have one? No, no, it's if I have three. Yes. And you have one, we both have two. No, no, no. But I don't have one. <laughs> Yeah. So I, if you have three, and Brian and I, or the nanny, the manny, whatever we're calling him, okay. if we do not have one, then do we all have one, or well, you still have three? Well, no. No. I, you can have all three. But oh. the manny doesn't smoke. The manny sucks on a battery. Yes. Yes. He, I told him that was coming. I was yeah, like, I just yeah. want to know. We're going to talk about... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I put it on display, yeah. so that people can have a reference. Yeah. People oh. understand that he's yeah. a... Can he's you do the vaping tricks with the he's little... He's a vapor. No, 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 no. You know what no, no, crap no. they knew? He's, he's a vapor. You have the bubble lung? That was my hip. He's a vapor. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I I would, I'm trying to get him into cigars. He's fighting. And the only reason why I do this How is How embarrassing for you, Michael. I know. It really is pretty much. Well, the only reason why I do this is because my wife would kill me if I smoked cigarettes. Yeah. You're married? I am. I didn't he know is. That. I yeah. He's, he's, married. Married, he's a married manny. Yeah. My wife is currently seeking job opportunity via your wife. Oh, that's your wife. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even know that too. Was. Yeah. I, I'm so out of the loop in this. I you just didn't thought it was a sister-in-law. I didn't. Just assume it was some yes, other sister in law. Yeah, I guess. Brother in law. So. Yes. yes. Marries. I understand sister how sister in law. Thank you. But no, I didn't. Does she live at your house too? Uh, no, not, no, not at the moment. Oh. Uh, when she comes down, he will be. Uh, they they will have their own lovely home. Oh. See, that's what we're waiting on. Gotcha. Here. It's all about time. There's a house coming up for rent in my neighborhood. Oh. Mm. Oh, that'd be nice. It's a little far, far away, though. Not if she works in this side of the county. Yeah, fuck that. We want her to drive. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Close. yeah. 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 Can't you? She With just she, she just applied at uh, Pride. I I don't know. I, I don't know anything I about don't it. Know anything about that? Yeah. She, yeah. she just said it was an uh, elementary school in Deltona. So. Oh well, there you go. Yeah. So well, there it is. We got a nice uh, thorough beat. So, anyways, hey, listen. So I we can only re- day you were married. So we can only you? review one pa- one cigar on the Patreon, right? Well, you do a different week. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. But okay, sorry. But yeah. I'm really excited about all three of these cigars. Okay. Okay, so we have the the Room 101 Death Bucket 2, which I know you're really excited about because mm-hmm. it has your friend's face on there. Matt, Matt Booth, yes. Mr. Matt Booth, yeah. I understand it's uh, like Death Bucket 1 with more boofy, though. It's more. It's a little more boof? A little more boof. Okay. It, it legitimately is. Cause it's okay, it's right. I see, I see yeah. that. See what you did there. Yeah, thank the you. The Cigar Culture Blend Number 3. Wow. Oh. Which is... Number 3. Yeah. I it, hear that's the good one. Yeah, the first and second one apparently sucked. Right. So that's why they rolled out with Number 3. And then now the new Mil Diaz 
I don't know how to fucking say this. Mariva limited edition. What is the edition. difference in that one? It's smaller. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Same blend, just smaller? It's an entirely different type of flying altogether. <laughs> in a different box. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fancier box. It's not, it's not fancy. It's, it's a less fancy box. Yeah, there's 30 of them in there, too. So 30? <clears throat> yeah. Wow, it's not that big That's a box. That's what it says. How small are they? they I don't know. I don't, it can't be 30. It can't be 30. There's no way. I don't know. Maybe you buy two boxes, fifteen in each. Well, I gotta. I mean, the email blast goes out in like an hour, so I better double Ooh, check better, that. Better double check that. So. <laughs> Somebody goes to buy that. Hey, I only got fifteen. So, um, so which one do you want to review on the Patreon? Well, th- we did the Death Bucket one, uh huh, and we've done the Middle Deus, I believe, uh huh. So at least you do want to do the culture. Oh, culture. What, what, what should, what should, oh, we, I'm sorry. What should yes. we review? Yeah, the yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. The professional of the three the here. Paper. We have the Death Bucket, too. We have the Cigar Culture, and we have the Mildias. Well, the the Death Bucket sounds the coolest. It does. It does sound the coolest. It and it the coolest. has chicken on it, too. So. It does It does have chicken. It's small. Was it a Robusto this time? It is. Last it, time, yeah. I think it was a Corona. You know what's funny is I saw some ads on, on Instagram or whatever, and yeah. people have taken photos of them. I'm like, that's not the size. No, it looked bigger. That looks it like, looked a, like Toro. a Toro. Yeah. yeah, you saw that, too. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you're not. I'm not alone. Nope. That's when I pulled one this morning. I was like, "What? Wait a second. Where's the rest? What fuck of it? are you doing? Yeah. So um, did he maybe short us? Maybe. Well, maybe we were. Maybe we got the short, short end, end of the, the stick. stick. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. All right. Yeah. Good jokes. <laughs> solid jokes. Good solid solid, 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 solid <laughs> it's jokes. It's a very professional show. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? I thought uh, we already agreed on the culture club. No, we didn't. You made oh. a statement. Oh, well then, what the hell? I guess it's up to you because you're going to pick whichever one you want anyway. All right, I think we should do the Death Bucket 2. <sighs> okay. All right, so we're going to review the Death Bucket 2. That means I'm going to smoke the Mil Diaz right now. So, um, so, so Mr. Matt Booth has gone out of his way and done a, a very kind gesture. Yes. Should we talk about this out of the way because, you know... He's a very nice man. Because Greg doesn't watch the podcast or listen. No, but I think Alex does. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm going to fuck with my brother. So, uh, um, so, so a, f- a few months ago, uh, my brother asked Matt, or asked, actually asked me to ask Matt, because that's pretty much how, how he runs his life, is yes. I handle all the things for him, uh, to acquire a... Room 101 ring for Yeah, him. he was quite taken with one of Mr. Booth's rings. Yes, the uh, jaw. The what? The jaw. J-A or J-A-W? J-Y-A. J-Y-A? J-Y-A. I would, I would say it's pronounced shaman. differently, knowing shaman. Mr. Booth. He's Maybe it's the Jouya. Yeah, probably. it's probably a lot closer to that right. than the jaw. It's the Chicago. So, um, so Matt Booth was very kind and uh, actually got it done. So oh, I, I did have he the make one, or did he just have it sitting around? I don't think is he. It, no, it, I. I don't it looks know. Looks like it's very hard to size. I feel like yeah. I feel like so he probably has the mold for it, and he probably right. makes them to spec, right? Oh, so did you have to tell him what size you? I did. did. How did I you did. find that out? I asked him. <laughs> How else am I gonna find out? What am I gonna do? Fucking. I don't. That's what I was wondering. Am I gonna hit him with some chloroform? <laughs> and when he's sleeping, you just <laughs> measure his finger. Alex, mm-hmm. check his finger. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that that would go over that that smoothly. You know. Yeah. So well, I mean, this thing's got scotches in him. I mean, this thing's got some weight to it too, man. It's this is. Let me see. This thing is no joke. Oh yeah, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> wow, that's no joke. It's even big for my index. You have very small fingers. I have very small fingers. Yeah. Yes, small, yes, small hands. Small hands. Carney. How do you Circus how do you book. close your hand with that on? I don't. I mean, well, he's I got could. that one ring that looks like a little suit of armor. Oh, uh, so. you can't really. Okay, that makes okay. sense. Okay, it's stuck now. <laughs> Okay, and Matt, so we now, need so another Greg, one. Send so one Greg more. Had a ring. So, so Matt's like, you know, hey, you should take pictures of it, like in, in yeah, bathroom, bathroom stalls stuff, and stuff and then like he'll that. Never touch it again. Yeah, you, know, you guys are with germs. But what I'm thinking is like, I just get like a necklace, like a whatever, you yeah, know, a cheap fucking, and wear it until and he just, notices. No, well, I, I'm not even when he notices, I'm not gonna <laughs> give it to him. I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna be like, yeah, this is my pendant. <laughs> oh, this is it. Missed. my friend Matt Booth sent this for me. Yeah, Matt sent me this. You know, it's perfect ring size for my necklace. <laughs> well, he's gonna he's got to know something's up then. My brother, he, he no, has he's asked. Not a jewelry guy. He has asked. He's like, oh, so uh, whatever happened with my ring? Is uh, Matt gonna make that for me? And no, I'm like, we haven't bought enough yet. Or and then I said, I, so, I said, I don't know, man. I'll call him and ask him. You know, because I know he never he's, will. Yeah, he's not All right. <laughs> Hey, uh, so I want a dry bag for this ring. Is what's what's going on, you know? So that's that's now, his MO. Now we weasel jewelry, apparently. I mean, this is this is the 
this is no joke. This is a very expensive ring. Oh, yes. and a very very nice gesture of uh, of Matt. love and affection yeah. from Mr. Mabu. Yeah, I mean, we can't even get fucking shirts from Romacraft. <laughs> Ooh, throwing that out. Shots like fired. That. Where's my blue craft? You know, I went through three boxes today of stuff looking for the I thought for sure you go, Oh, it's in one of these. It's gotta be, we got we got these big order in. Just ship, no questions asked. Yep, they'll no. just do it because credit card goes through, week. no problem. Right. And then right. boom. No. We send we send war bears. We give yeah. them we shower them with love. It's all right. And it's met with nothing but womp womp, womp disappointment. Womp, womp, womp. Right? Okay. So, so So what's going on, Mike? What's going on, Manny? What's going on? Before we get into the details, know, of this, let's find out what's going on with the Manny. I don't know. Let's see how he handles himself in this podcast. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm a yeah. You are? Yeah, it yeah. looks like okay. a battery. It's a battery. I, that's why I say he sucks on a battery. Yeah, it, you literally hit it until it dies. We're, and then you throw it away? And then you throw it away. It's disposable. Oh, disposable. Yeah. Well, when you turn yeah. it, it's got words on it. Yeah. It says, do not smoke. The product. Yeah, yeah, it says. It apple says, pie? Is that what it says? Is that apple, apple pie, pie flavored? No. <laughs> it says fume. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't say apple. No nope. apple on anywhere. What flavor is it? Oh, pineapple ice. Oh, That's so there's an apple ice. in it. Okay. Uh, yes, right. there was an apple. Yeah, but uh, there's a pine before the apple. So uh, take a hit. Let's see what happens. Why? Oh yeah. yeah oh, it's oh, it glows. That's it. Yeah, Ooh, fan- very fancy. It just shows you that it's not dead. It yeah, it'll blink when it's dead, and then you throw it away, and That's I can spend another twenty bucks on it. There you go. Wow, yeah, twenty dollars. How yeah. long does it last? I, I guess it depends on how many times yeah. you hit it. It depends on how. Do they have like a hit to price brand. ratio? I mean, do you have? No, it's it's honestly a waste of money. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can tell you, a lady came in the other day who's been buying those. She says they're costing her arm and a leg, so yeah, she she bought uh, our little twenty dollars setup the in the liquids. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's th- like fifteen bucks a pop. It's crazy how quickly that market changes and like demand. Like somebody comes up with something new, and right. then, you know. I mean, at least every year with the iPhone, I gotta wait until like then they do the software update, and then my iPhone shits, and then that year at the end of the year, I have to upgrade. Right. Right. That's with you. you know with Pineapple Express over here, <laughs> it fucking changes quarterly. Pineapple it's like, Express. oh yeah, no. Do you have and a, a new name was born? Now right. we're calling Pineapple Express. It's just Express. more convenient, you know. Yeah. Because you don't have to charge it. I didn't yeah. see the smoke come back out. Did you ever blow it back out? It's not uh, a huge no, it, cloud. It's, well, it's so it's a nick. It's a it's a nick salt. They call it. So it's got a higher percentage of nicotine, <laughs> and it's not like the super cloudy vapes where they just do it for fun. Yeah, you know what I mean? those idiots. Yeah. I had yeah. somebody blow up the the lounge one day. You know, he made this fucking. He thought it was Harry who fucking Houdini. I'm like. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus, man! Let me get my thermal sights on and fucking <laughs> ridiculous. I'm like, what's now? Thanks so much, bro. Now it reeks of fucking cotton candy in here. Yeah, awesome. It's like when somebody smokes a groovy blue. Yeah. Oh no, this is far worse. Not only not only did it, it you know engulf is with the fucking scent. I couldn't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, what the fuck? So yeah. Um, so yeah, Pineapple Express. Yeah. And the reason why you didn't see the smoke is because he has strategically. The, figured out how to push it out through his ears, and his ears are covered. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, so you're right. going to need nice. a new headset. Yeah. Uh, to, nobody uses it. <laughs> yeah, that's the guest, guest one. <laughs> that's the yeah. guest one. Yeah. So, so I'll be going, smells like pineapple. So weird. So weird. So, so uh, yeah, so the Manny's, Manny's uh, at the house, hanging out, getting uh, getting some work oh, done. Oh, I saw a little, little baby Teddy took a, a knee to the head. Oh, or yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite yeah, the social media anim- blitz there. little MMA style. I mean, that's not. I mean, I didn't do the post. Brittany no, no, you, you wife yeah, did. Yeah. But Ooh. was that a uh, FaceTime to the doctor? Uh, no, 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 oh. no, no. It was uh, you know, I I handled that myself actually. Wow. So see, it's a third child. That's what happens. No, but that's the most important one because it's a little girl. Well, I understand. But that, I'm but seasoned enough. That's what I mean. Oh, jeez, oh, stop touching the mic. I didn't even touch the mic. <laughs> your arm on the cord. I'm I'm seasoned enough where I can identify the, the, that the that the child ice static. You FaceTimed Mike point. enough to now where Chris, Chris, yeah, you FaceTimed yeah. <laughs> Chris, Chris, the doctor, the doctor. So now where you can just handle the situation. Where I can where I can identify if she has a concussion or not. Ah, yeah. So she was okay, but you know, um, so Jax was doing like this running thing where he would jump over her, oh, and, I, no, at no. full speed. And she and he has been instructed not to do this sort of thing, right? And um, yeah, and Brittany was like, "Hey, I'm gonna leave. I wanted to wait until the baby laid down. I'm like, they're fine. I got it." But I mean, the fucking second she oh, walked you were out in the charge. door, yeah, the, oh. I mean, she legitimately got in her car. 
And then she walked back in to get something, and it was utter chaos. It was utter chaos. So she would, so she saw it. Yeah. What do you call Drew? What's what's Drew's nickname? Uh, he's the uh, handyman. Oh yeah. So the handyman and I were working on the floor. Oh. Yeah. Not paying attention to the children. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, they're fine. They were fine in the little second. Well, well, apparently they weren't fine. They're apparently not. So we checked <laughs> the videos because you know we have surveillance. Oh, go back to the video. And Let's see the slow mo. And it was bad. I mean, the man he watched it with me, and he goes, yeah. "Oh my god!" It's like mm. watching Fight Night in 4K. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh man, yeah. Like, she just legs up. I mean, yeah. He, he took. She took a flying knee. Yeah. Blocked it with her wow. face. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't no blocking. It was connected. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, you know, it's just a matter of time before they do that to her. She picks up a bat and whacks the shit. Oh out of her. yeah, she it's will just, be. It's just a matter of time. I feel sorry for her husband. <laughs> He's so fucked. <laughs> I said, she's like, you know I had two older brothers, right? <laughs> Not even just two older brothers, but Jackson Justin. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Right, yeah. Frickin' yeah, They're named after superheroes, right. just so you know. <laughs> little thunder, little lightning. <laughs> Very crazy. Mm-hmm. So um, I made a, I could tell you that I've made a couple of mistakes at the gym already. What? Shit's bad. At RDB? Like the, well, yeah. Uh, but what kind of mistake? You, so, you had to wipe down a machine? Well, so, no, no. I know. You, I'm pretty pulled, good about... pulled something? I'm pretty good about all that stuff. Something came out of your pants when it shouldn't have? No, so like, you know... You did the shot in the pee in front of everybody. Nope. Couldn't have helped yourself, huh? <laughs> That's so, the second time I've said that. <laughs> <laughs> this is my life. <laughs> it's worse on Facebook. He just berates me. <laughs> <laughs> so now I've countered back with, like, you know, he's my service animal and stuff like that. Um, I mean, not nearly as funny. I don't know. I get a lot because, of LOLs. I don't know. People are telling you not to be mean to me. I like Tyler. Pay fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. No, I'm just kidding. I love you, Tyler. Um, so, no. So, you know, we're trying to get into the routine, right? So, Brittany goes earlier. I bring the baby. Uh, but like we have to switch cars because her car is you know baby proofed, mine is not. Right. So like I'm bringing all this gear, like I have my laptop and all of my backpack and my right. my gym bag, and then I got to go switch it out. And I'm like, man, I don't want to bring my carry my gym bag all the way back to my car. I'll just put it down, and like the gym's dead, <laughs> right? Put it down in the gym. Yeah, I'll just it's just it's just my clothes and stuff, and like my you know in her lockers. Yeah, but I'm, you know, I didn't think that at the time. I mean, stop being reasonable. So I was just, totally like in the middle of the gym. You just drop your bag. No, I was gonna tuck it in the corner. Really suspicious. Somebody stole your bag. Somebody stole your. No, bag. no, no, no. So you know, here I am in my all black ninja garb. You know, my black sweatshirt oh, and you know my my black mask and right. you know um, one of the the trainers uh, sees the suspicious man dropping a bag and walking oh, away. Oh my lord! And she's like, "Uh, sir, you can't do that." And I'm like. Oh, but I. Uh, this is this is where I really, I don't know what I was thinking. Like I don't know what the thought process was. Uh, you bowed up on the young lady. No, that this blurted out in my mouth. I'm like, oh, but I know everybody here. <laughs> I'm like, and, and How do you like know the instant there? that I said that, I was like, what in the fuck? Re- kind of reaction was that? Put it in a lock. Yeah, yeah. So she's like, well, you know, uh, you know, uh, you can put it somewhere. We're like I don't have a lock. Uh, that was like my reasoning. And I'm like, wait a second. Okay, yeah, no problem. Make me have a lock, so right? I went. So I went and jammed it in a locker. And should I just remember what number you're barely at? Barely closed the door, ran up and dropped off my backpack and came back. And I was like, I talked to her later. I was like, I'm sorry. I'm. I felt. I feel really, <laughs> really stupid about <laughs> my comments and my actions at the time. But hey, you know. Hey, I know everybody here. And then like, yeah, well, I don't know. There's the Phil. Fuck. There's Bill over oh, there. Yeah, Tom. Yeah. Hey, Nancy. Nice to see yeah, you. Hey, Nancy. Glutes yeah. are looking good, Nancy. Nope. Nice job. No, I would never do that. Never. <laughs> nope. 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 <laughs> um. And then so like, there's this blind guy that's been there forever too. Like he's a regular. He's always been. He's always worked there. Worked out there and stuff. Right. And um, <laughs> I don't know. That just strikes me as funny. Poor blind man walking around. The gym. Yeah. Yeah. So I. Uh, How does he know how much he's lifted? Uh, he does more. Like he has a trainer. The, the machi- oh, oh. So somebody follows him and oh, helps okay. him and stuff. Right. Okay. But he's in the locker room. <laughs> just take him going, Too heavy. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm lifting more or less this week. You're going straight to hell. <laughs> well, that's what, no. So uh, we're in the, so uh, we're like he's coming into the locker and I'm heading into the showers and like we ran into you and you yelled at him. We're we're what are you blind? Get out of the way! We're, we're we're I'm he's coming this way and right. I'm going this way and there's a wall right here. So like I have nowhere to go right, but I don't want to stop. <laughs> <laughs> 
So you're going to help so, Michael. So Mommy. I'm like, oh, man, I can warn him, but I don't know how that will play out. <laughs> So, <laughs> Excuse me, sir. So, uh, and I have my headphones on still. So I just haul ass like Indiana Jones right past him. <laughs> so fast. And I he, barely. He feels the wind. Like, yeah, I had. <laughs> he had to be freaked out a little bit. Like that's how close we were. I, you know, he had his cane out, and I kind of leapt <laughs> over it a little bit. <laughs> And I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's bad. It it's funny if he caught your leg and you knocked you down. Oh my god! Oh, 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 sorry. Who did I knock down? I don't know what's going on in my life, but uh, it's been an awkward. It was an. Uh, so awkward you jumped week. over dressed as a ninja. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, dressed as like Whoa! Pretty eventful day. Yeah, you know? uh, it's been an. Well, that was kind of like you an eventful like week. Bomb squad called on you. You beat up a blind guy. Yeah. <laughs> It's just it's just a day in the life for me. You know? Is this all the stuff you were gonna try to remember to tell me the other day? Uh, you started to tell me yes. something. Yeah, and yeah, you're yeah. Like I can't. Talk. Yeah, I can't. We can't talk about this. Now we I can't. know why you like RDV so much. Yeah, it's it's amazing for me. <laughs> oh yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it's a fun-filled afternoon for you. Yeah, I I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I'm embarrassed myself, but at least you know that I, I just own it and and move the hell on. Um, mm. Did you catch Kiss My Ass Radio? This week, um, I have listened to bits and pieces of almost the whole thing. Yeah, we've got nine minutes. Okay, uh, I listened to it some in the car just down the way back from the airport. Yeah, I thought it was a good interview. Uh, yeah, from what I, I I heard of it, what you gathered. I mean, I haven't seen all of it yet. Yeah, no, I think it went. It was really uh, well. same information basically that he did on the other interview. So I mean, yeah, but Abe tried to. The, what's the worst thing about working yeah, with Skip Mark? Yeah, he did try that, and, and you know, I think that uh, Danny handled himself pretty well. Right. Yeah, he didn't really say anything bad. It was very political, you know. Did he get the bonus? I would, I, I mean, I that, would that say that funny. the I could tell you what the worst thing is working with Skip Martin. Easy. Okay. Uh, fucking the fact that he always is right. Like that's fucking frustrating. That he always has to be right or no. that he is actually always yeah. right. Yeah. Oh. That you have to and you know the other thing that that they said that was kind of weird is that Abe said um you know, the Facebook skip and the skip in person are two totally different people. I completely disagree. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. I, I just think that you, people don't understand him. You don't get the dialogue correct when you're reading it just via text. Oh, okay. All right. You I know what I mean? I, yeah. He's the same person. He feels the same way, and he has, you know, correct fucking... Oh, he's by no means putting on a show for Facebook. No. Yeah. And I think that you would, if you sat down and you talked with him, you're like, oh, that fucking makes sense. I, uh, Yeah, I get, I get that now. Like, that's the difference. Well, I've told him a little more than once. I just assume everything he says is correct. I mean, I don't fact check him or anything. I don't, uh, I don't assume that he's correct, but there are times when I get there, I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> that, ugh, fuck. Oh, okay. Geez. Just the same scenario with my son. I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> what if I'm wrong here? Yeah, what was that word? What? The word? Uh, homophone. Homophone. Yeah. Do you know what? I, oh, he probably knows. He knows. He's I around know. the house. I think he knew. Did, I think yeah, I asked him and it's he. It's the knew. younger people. I don't know. I don't know why you didn't know. I mean, I understand why I didn't know. I had I I slept, slept around. When I, I was in the entire well, career of school. I was asleep. Oh, well, the entire time. Well, there you go. I still made it on the roll. That oh. goes to show you how much of a joke that school is. But so, anyways. So what about you, Mike? How was your week? You have like six minutes. Get it out. Uh, I have uh, nothing. Nothing exciting happened. There was that death and that sort of. Put a damper on the uh, weekend. Nothing really? Yep. I got drunk last night. Other than that. You did get drunk. You were aggressive to me. How With the screwball. You're like, oh, I'm shaving your eyebrow. That's not happening. To I them. asked yeah. if I could. I didn't explain why. No, and but then, like, I, but you, I noticed you did see it. So. And then you got mad that I didn't answer. Yes. I didn't see it right away. I gave you plenty of time. I know. I, didn't and I wasn't drinking a screwball. I was drinking scatterbrain. It was something new. Is it like screwball, only not scattering? As, not as good. <laughs> not as good. The Manny is, uh, has been dabbling into the Sincora a little bit. Yes. Oh. I have. It's a big fan. You're sharing? Big fan. Yeah, of course I'm sharing. Oh. You know, if I have three and you have one, we both have two, Mike. <laughs> That's how it works. Oh. <laughs> but I have four over here, and none of them are for you. But, well, there's three now. If you notice, I conveniently brought two Death Bucket 2s and one of the others, one of each. Oh, so you had to, I couldn't see over so, the screen. Kind of knew the direction it was going. Uh, <laughs> then why didn't you just say which one we were doing? Because where's the fun in that, Mike? I don't. Know. That's, there's no filler time for that. So somebody died. Now you have the house to yourself. You're not going to wear pants the rest of the weekend. Monday through Friday. It's not. I mean, it's all work days. There's nobody can go out. Nobody can go do anything. It's all days people have jobs and things. Hmm. 
So, you know. Oh, I see what you're saying. It was a Legion. They only have the one plane. So they fly on Monday, and then they fly again on Friday. Oh, okay. So that's exciting. Yes. What about you, Manny? Anything fun and exciting? Anything fun and exciting, Manny? (sighs) Worked. With your new wife that apparently you just got that I found out about? For the first day since, you know. Can't remember the last time I was up in Jacksonville. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's fun. I know I gotta go back next week. And what are you doing exactly? Can you tell us, or is it a secret? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So I am a field service representative. They call it. Oh, that sounds fancy. Yeah, it yeah, does. It's the it fancy does. word for a guy who sits at home and teleworks. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but I am a good job, everybody. <laughs> I'm a civilian contractor go. for the Navy. Oh. Um, we are kind of in a deal with them where we allow them to use our helicopters. In return, they let us use their ships to put our helicopters. Oh. If and they weren't using the helicopters, would you need the ships? No. Yes. I don't because know. Because our <laughs> helicopters are a UA, or they're, it's a UAV. Yeah. Uh, it's only got like a flying time of like an hour and a half before it has to start turning back to the ship. Oh. Because it's it's smaller. There's not, you know, the fuel tanks are small. It's like a drone. Is it, it electrical? That's what UAV means, Yeah, Michael. it's a drone. Is that what UAV means? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the drone. Yes. It's an unmanned air vehicle. See, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that. I did too. So, so, I didn't know what so it stood in, for, but I knew it meant a drone. In a perspective that might help you out. Yes. Uh, Call of Duty. Call of Duty. <laughs> the personal, Can you put it in Call of Duty the terms? Personal for Michael Blaise? recon UAVs. Yeah, right. That's what exactly. The little helicopter. What, that's exactly what I work with. On. The two kills or the three kills. You get yes. the yeah. You, you get have to kill <laughs> three people in order for it to work. <laughs> right. Right. And that happens. That's that, the same that scenario that every single day. Is that in real life? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow, three, three people right. die, and then three it goes up in the air. And then we're allowed to fly. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's successful. Yeah, sometimes so, you forget you have so it. Do you have to go out <laughs> on the ships? Yeah, yeah. So I was up in the ships, in the shipyard today up in Mayport. I mean, but when the ships leave, do you oh, have to yeah, go yeah. for a ride? Um, so whenever the ships leave, a crew will deploy with it. Right. Like a, a Navy detachment, and then an FSR will go with for four to six months. They haven't successfully Ugh. done a six-month deployment yet. Because the ships are, are trash, and they break a oh. lot. Oh. And But we okay. just had two ships come back today, and then two more are deploying in January and February. Yeah. I'm is not it, on that this, deployment. Is this secret stuff we shouldn't be talking about? No. I can't, I, 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 I'm not going to tell you where they go. Oh, yeah. yeah well, or the routes. Or the anything. ocean. I've, yeah. been, I've been on that naval base. That's what yeah. Oh, yeah? And I've been out on a... It's where I went out on a Coast Guard cutter. Oh. With Sean? Uh, yes, actually. It was family day. Oh. There you go. Yeah. It's How romantic. Base. It's a big base. It's a big it base. Is, it's big. It's very nice. Very big base. So, yeah. Yeah. And between that and, uh, you know, in, in his off time, the, the nights, he's uh, twitching away with his... Well, he's playing Call of Duty and needs yeah. to uh, yeah, soundproof you know, his room. It's the, it's the easiest job I've ever had in my life, to be honest. Yeah. Really? Call of Duty is the same thing? He hasn't, been, he hasn't deployed yet, though. Wait until he deploys, yeah, and I mean, then let's review. Right. No, no, no. When I deploy... It's going to suck, <laughs> but just like every deployment I've ever been on, that's when I make the most money. Right. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. it'll be worth it. So to get but, your own room? Because uh, you're an FSR? It depends. If it's a full ship, right. then I'll be bunking with the Navy. Uh-huh. But if not, then I'll get my own stateroom. Will you oh, wear pants? Room. Sounds nice. No. No, yeah. It's, it's the, the Navy. Navy. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no pants. Those little shorts. The oh, Navy. Right. In the Navy. The little shorts and the hats. The but it is going to be a new experience being that I did six years in the Air Force. Right. We get, oh, we get yeah, pampered right. in yeah. the Air right, Force. Yeah, Air Force. Yeah. So now With I'll be on like a five real course meals deployment. and everything. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, wait, where's the, where's the well, primary? At least it's not. So you're saying I got to sleep on the same sheets? It's ridiculous. There's nobody that cleans my room? Yeah, what the heck? What is this? Where's the maid? Definitely had one of those. Well, it's a ship, so it's a steward. Uh, oh, excuse me. Versus uh, steward. Yes. Oh, yes. we, we got to go. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we're back. This is episode 151 of the Cigar Hustler Podcast. We're here with the Manny. The Manny. That's the Manny. Me. Apparently <coughs> married brother-in-law that I didn't yeah, yeah. know. So. And I told him that I was going to subject him to battery sucking comments and stuff like that. But there's a trade off. I told him that uh, we would uh, we'd give him a plug. So oh, what are we plugging? Do so a little self promotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. So Except for it's not for myself. It's for my wife. Well, I mean, it's oh, still kind of for you. It is for me. Yeah. What do we want to promote his wife in doing? Right, right. She makes these fucking amazing cookies. Oh, she's a cookie lady she, too. Oh, oh I've seen pictures yeah. of the cookies. Cookie plug. Yeah, I've been pushing for. Do some we have cookies. We don't have any. We don't. Right we now. don't. Like little microphones or something. We don't. We could totally do that. It could totally be arranged. Yeah. 
But I mean, I really feel like the microphones is you're really kind of selling it short. I pushed for Biden cookies, <laughs> just because I thought it'd be funny to give to you know like die-hard Trump supporters. They just eat his head. I mean, that's actually I just think something for them. Oh, uh, maybe they can crush him. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. She, I don't know where I was going. She'd be able to pull it off though. She could. Hmm. She could. She made you these really badass Halloween cookies. Yeah. She sent a whole I, I've batch. I've seen the the photos. Yeah, they're very nice. Yeah. very detailed. Yeah, yeah. very detailed. And yeah. the, she only started in like March. Wow. Yeah. And she's she not. just have this art ability. No. It's, it's <laughs> she just crazy. found that her medium is it's unreal. Like she can draw. Yeah. And she's artsy, but she's just got such a, like a creative mind that it oh. kind of just one day she picked it up and she did it. You know what? I think I can make cookies randomly. look like people. Yeah. She did it wow. randomly one day. She took a couple quaaludes. Yeah, <laughs> and she's like fucking cookies. Cookies man. sound good. Cookies, you know, cookies would be awesome so right great. Now. Well, they put something else in that thing and then yeah. they hit it. And yeah. They, yeah. Oh, cookies would be. You know great what? Right oh, now. we could go for some. But no, it's, it's, so it started because she started baking a lot when yeah. uh, when I lived up there. She would make like these things called slutty brownies. Oh, oh, and hey. what it is is it's fun for everybody. Yes. Yeah. A three-tiered brownie, and uh-huh. on, on top it's brownie, and then in the middle it's Oreo, and like a sh- layer of Oreos, right. and, and the bottom's a we whore. Need, we, yeah, <laughs> perfect. And then it's <laughs> chocolate chip on those. the bottom. We need those. Those so those she started making those a lot. That I started bringing good. them into work. Right. And then she would make cookies for me to bring into work. Mm-hmm. Wow. And that's when the cookie thing started. And now she's got her own business. Yeah. Well, go ahead. It's Goblet of Goodies. Okay. Can you find them? Where can you find it? You can find it on Instagram and Facebook. Uh huh. Okay. You know. She's got goblet of goodies. Yeah, goblet of goodies. Yeah, you're probably not getting all anything one for, word, but nothing for Christmas right now because she's booked. Christmas is a little, you know, she's yeah. got 20 orders to do for Christmas. Right, and she's only one person. We're growing. Right, right, right. But you know, it's good. I just found out she, that her mother will be helping her. Oh, nice. And, oh, so now oh. they can take orders. Yeah. Oh, her mother will. Well, be we're expanding. Her. And she also just Double paid off her. She yeah. also just paid off her nine-year-old sister to oh. be on dish duty. She gave oh. her twenty bucks. Oh, which so is they nice. tripled she's the work now. Yeah. yeah, she's expanding. Yeah, Very aggressive nice. expansion. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we aggressive expand here, but we don't pay anybody. <laughs> no, yeah. no, they're trying to pay me less. Now. Yeah, I was like, hey, <laughs> I said at the meeting today. <laughs> yeah, hey, by the way, need to cut the hours we pay Palmer back. Yeah, no. What? We need him here. We just don't want him on the clock. Right, right. Yeah, he works better that way. I don't. More efficient. Don't think so. I think so. I think well, so. for you certainly. It's fantastic it wins for you. Yeah, uh, who's he? I don't know. <laughs> of course, I do like it because then I can just leave. Yeah, well, yeah, you get to go, come and go as you please. You know, a little right. bit of freedom, and then when people come in, they treat you like you're the owner. Well, that's if I'm on the clock or not. So. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Mike's in charge. <laughs> So there you go. I have cards that say I'm the owner. So Goblet of Goodies. Goblet, Goblet of Goodies. goodies. Is there a dot .com or anything or just Facebook? No, just go to it's Facebook. Not, yeah, just yeah. on Facebook. It's mm-hmm. a little group on Facebook that she's got. She's also got her Instagram page. Mm-hmm. Very nice. She's, yeah, she's blooming. She's doing well. She's, she's blooming. Doing really well. A blooming onion. So far, so good. You know, yeah. we're trying to grow. Once we get into this house, we're going to set up a little little shop for her, distro shop. and It's going to yeah. be nice. Nice. Yeah. yeah. She does any occasion, you know, yeah. holiday, birthday, anything. Yeah, Teacher yeah. of the Year award stuff. Yeah. Who knows? Oh, you know, who Teacher knows? of the yeah. Year. Yeah. 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 $75 a cookie for you, though. $75 a cookie? You've got to offset the pay. <laughs> <laughs> just, just throwing that out there. You're going to start paying me in cookies? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah oh, here's the, here's the, the cigar, yeah. cigars and cookies. There you go, Palmer. Here's that's your paycheck. That's $75. Here's one that's cookie and half a cigar. $75. And thank you for your time. <laughs> you can have anything in the ashtray. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, hey. What's going on? On with the news. On with the news. Brian, with the Manny, thank you for coming on, too. Just, you know, course, throwing that out there course. before the end. Yeah. 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 Solid. All right. Uh, as we mentioned, Room 101. Oh! I said the news. What? You got to be kidding. What happened to the sound effects? Oh, you went to do 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 just in. Yeah, thank you so much. I feel so much better now. Now I know that we're on the news. Now we're on the news. Room 101 Death Bucket 2 goes on sale. Oh, my God. Really? There'll be another Death Bucket. Multiple retailers have begun selling the Room 101 Death Bucket 2, a follow-up to the Multiple. Room 101 Death Bucket. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first appeared in 2018. Was it 2018? There must have been a. Uh, I guess there was. Before. Yeah, there was one before. So, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, it's being branded a Death Bucket. The most recent version is a completely different cigar. <gasps> Ooh, it's an entirely different type of flight. It's offered in a robusto size. Yes, it there is. There we go. See, and not Instead a toro. Instead of a toro like size, fucking, yeah, it must fucking uh, liars with liars, your fucking Instagrams. Fucking it's also being made Ridiculous. at a different factory. The new version comes from Hoya, Hoya de, de Nicaragua. Nicaragua that we found out the other day when we called we him. We did. We did. Oh, and when we FaceTimed him, Keanu was just so excited. Oh, he said his name so two and a half times. So he smitten. Said, two and a half times. Jeff, my yeah. my name. I hope he listens to this podcast. <laughs> Keanu's like, damn it, they mentioned my name. 
Well, the original cigar was made at Tabla Calera William Ventura in the Dominican Republic. As far as the blend, it uses a Nicaraguan. Uh, that makes sense. What? Ventura. Okay. The original was made by Ventura. Yeah. Now, we're, now we've moved on to Hoyo. Yes. As far as the blend, it uses a Nicaraguan Habano wrapper over an Indonesian binder and fillers. comes from three regions in Nicaragua. Ooh. Candega, Esteli, and, and Jalapa. Jalapa. Price is set at $12 per cigar. It's like the go-to combo. Might be Death Bucket 2. This is actually the third release of Death Bucket. The original cigar was first released 2018 that we said earlier. Yes. Save this for the love, next uh, second love, show. love the beating in the background. Yes, and the lovely. Yeah. Maybe it's uh, Keanu. He's trying to send Morse code. Yeah. He's trapped in the back. Help. <laughs> help, 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 help. <laughs> they hired me and they shoved me in this corner. Uh, Crown Heads ships Mildias Holy moly, you just, Edition you're, Limitada. You're pinging on everything. That's what I'm smoking right now. The Mildias Marvella Edition Limitada XX is off to stores. Yesterday, Crown Heads began shipping the Mildias. Wow, he shipped yesterday. Came in today. No. I saw that Nickel City had it like on Friday. Well, he gets stuff early. We did. We really you, just got it today. You would think in the tundra that he's located in, all the way up in that, like he's practically in Canada. <laughs> is he? Where? No, he's in New York. I'm gonna say <laughs> this is pretty quick extension of the Mill Diaz line, which arrived on shelves in September. It uses an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper over a Nicaraguan binder and fillers from Costa Rica, Nicaragua, and Peru. The what other, a hit! The c- other trifecta. This cigar is what a hit, man. I mean, this is crazy. It is. I, we got another uh, influx of them, and pff, they're gone. Gone. The line debut. You can't keep them in stock. Can I go on? It's absolutely amazing. <laughs> oh, my mother just called. Uh, uh, see, the line debuted in mid-September busy mom. in four regular production Vitolas, the Mildias Imundo, the Mildias Corona Gorda, yep. the Mildias Sublime, Sublime, and the Mildias Double Robusto. Yeah. Mildias Marvel Edition Limitada is a 5 and an eighth by 42, yeah. and a box of 30 will set you back $268.50. I, I wonder if the Mildias will hit, like, you know, the top 10 half-wheel yada yada. Is it too late in the season? That's what I'm wondering. Maybe too late in the season. That's what I'm wondering. <clears throat> it's a reference that the project took roughly a thousand days between the time Pichardo presented Crown Heads with the original samples to when it was released. It's like a glacial pace. That's what they should have called it. Glacial uh, pace. Glacial pace? Yeah. What is Spanish for glacial pace? <laughs> I don't know. Frio fucking. <laughs> Frio fucking? <laughs> Frio. Uh, how Pe- do you say peso. what? Camido? I don't know. Peso? Caliente? I don't know. Caliente! Caliente! That's hot. Oh, you really <laughs> right. this. Yeah. Cabeza? 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 No, Cabeza. It's head, isn't it? Like That's Cabeza. Cabeza. Yeah. I don't know what Cabeza is. Mm-hmm. We're just, you know, two white guys <laughs> forward scumping <laughs> our way through this garden. Fully there was a device. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fully there was a device. So we carried with us everywhere. Fully there was a way that we could figure this out. What kind of fun would that be, though, if we just looked it up? True. Yeah. Let's just say what it is. Yeah. Glacial pace. Okay. I want a, I want a Mildius exclusive the for the show. The hammering shop. is driving me nuts. You're going to be okay. I feel like you're just on edge because your wife left you permanently for her ex. Wow. <laughs> In Kansas. Kansas. Wow. It's not Kansas. It's Springfield. What? Oh, Illinois. No, Springfield, Missouri. Missouri. Oh, and I paid for the ticket. What a sucker am I? <laughs> <laughs> Last little, uh, it's one born every minute. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Viaje Holiday Blend Candy Cane returns for 2020. Hey. Viaje's winter I blew this holiday. one. You didn't wait not get in there? Nah, I missed it. <sighs> we missed all the <laughs> turkey stuff. I missed that one, too. <laughs> all, people Dude, have to do is, all people have to do is call you. Yeah, but there's 75,000 fucking emails that I get, and they email me, and then I'm like, oh, I wonder if yeah, I everybody hate. like to start emailing me those information. That they I actually can... said, is there another email? <laughs> he, just, he just emailed me back. He's like, is there another email we can get in touch with you with? Maybe I just give him yours. Give him the podcast one. It gets very little email. Yeah? Right. Okay. I'll email. I'll have them email you, and then you can say, "Hey, West? no, Viaje. Who's Viaje? It's Viaje. It, it randomly changes. I've got. He's gone through like twenty people. Oh, who is it now? It's probably like four. It's probably gone through four. Who's it now? I don't know. <laughs> it's the same email though. Oh, just different people. Yeah, yeah, it. yeah. It's oh. just the signature at the bottom is different. Uh, Viaje's winter holiday themed cigars are set to return later this month. And yeah, not we would have gotten a box of candy can and a box of holiday blends, but we didn't get either. The company posted pictures of an upcoming <laughs> release of both holiday blend and candy cane. Two cigars that typically ship in December to coincide with the Christmas holidays. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Company statement: Ho ho ho! It's that special time of year again. The air is getting cooler and the temps yeah. are dropping, signaling yeah, yeah, that yeah. winter is just that. around the yeah, corner. Was, so but, uh, was this in the email you got? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just saw it today. Fa- <laughs> I saw it today. I was like, "Oh fuck!" Oh, and it was it was like email. It was sent to me. the The follow up email was sent to me on the fourth. 
of December. Like the final notice. I'm like, oh shit, there's no uh, way. This is the seventh. I'm not getting it. Like, so final notice. I'm like, hey, can I still get those? Nope. Hmm. Well, if anybody else gets them, the bundle of candy canes, <laughs> which is usually a barber pole version of the holiday blend. Oh, it sounds lovely. Yeah. Indicates that it will be a 6 by 54 release. Is it a barber we're pole? Not gonna, yeah, but we're never see it. We're yeah. Never see it here. It's fine. Company declined to provide any further details to Michael, so that's the way it worked. But he did indicate on Instagram that the release would ship on December 14th. It's still seven days. Yeah, but they already sold them. You don't know anybody at VI? You know. Who do you know? I mean, I know Andre. But, like, what? I feel this is below you really want, Andre. Like, you so want me to really fucking, you know? like, I, I don't want to, pr- first of all, it's on me. I fucked it up, for one. And for two, like, I don't want to press for what? For two boxes? Hey, man, really well, we won't two read boxes. any more of this story because we're not getting them. Yeah. So we'll just. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, moving on. We're not getting them, so we're not interested. Oh, oh wow. There's a lot of information, apparently, about oh, that man. cigar. I'm very excited about the VIs. <laughs> the top 25 cigars of 2020, they've I've, released the schedule. I'm very excited about this. The, the top 25 cigars of 2020 are almost here. Every year, Cigar Aficionado conducts a tasting of the highest scoring cigars from the past 365 days to determine which are good enough to make the top 25 and which one cigar will rise above all the rest and be named Cigar of the Year who paid us the most money. Nope, I'm, that's alleged. That's uh, alleged. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The list I could give two shits about. His son comes on every year, and he fucking mutilates the names he of every cigar, oh, and it is just it's so a amazing. Fan favorite it is people the, love the, the show. best that's podcast. That's fantastic. So yeah. the uh, the list, the final day of the list is January fifteenth. Cigars eleven through twenty five will be announced on the tw- on the fifteenth. Mm-hmm. He happens to be coming to visit after the holidays on the sixteenth and seventeenth of January. <laughs> that's oh okay. So, so it worked out perfect. perfect. Saturday Sunday right after the. I'm glad that you had correspondence with Cigar Fish and I said, hey, listen, we really want to destroy your <laughs> names for right. you. Yes, we we need uh, <laughs> for, for the list. So. Uh, Hojo. So Can't the January wait. 19th show, yeah, the uh, the Hoi, uh, Jojo, yeah. Yeah. Hojo. Oh, the Hojo. Oh, Hojo. The Hojo. The Hojo. So amazing. The January 19th show will be episode 157 <sighs> and uh, in uh, Cigar Hustler Podcast. It's tradition. one you can't miss. Jake Palmer will be reading the top 25. He was quite thrilled to find out that it coincided exactly with this. Like, that worked out well. <laughs> so uh, we need to line up a celebrity to correct him. Ooh. So who, who can we get? If you would like to be in the area on the 16th of January, January. Mm. you'd like to come in and you can say the names correctly. I mean, it was somebody. Danny last time. What we, what, maybe was, we have Danny come back. I don't. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Because we're you know we're mending fences we're moving on. I don't know I don't, I don't feel <laughs> you know it's necessary. Yeah. Okay okay. I don't well, think we'll he likes you because of the shirt. I told you that was it. It was because yeah. you did the shirt with his name crossed off. No, we're friends now. I thought he came to town. I didn't call you. He didn't. That was hurtful. But we've moved on. <laughs> Are you talking now? Yeah. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh well, then forget anything I said. He's a very lovely man. I miss him, <laughs> I miss him terribly. <laughs> Yeah. So. No, 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 no. We're good. We, uh, you know, I reached out to him after the AMA. I said, "Hey, man, that was a good interview." Yeah. Oh, did yeah. you? Yeah. Except, where was he? I don't know. I couldn't I, figure that out either. I'm like, where the fuck? He's is in this? a white tile is room. In a there was some clips on the wall, yeah. like to hang things. Like, yeah. Somebody asked uh, in the text torture thing, changer. Well, Jeez. they asked if he was in a holding cell. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I mean, at uh, first I thought a bathroom, but no, like, no clips room, maybe a dark a room because of the clips. Was, I mean, nobody came in and interrupted him, and he's got you know seventy-five right. kids, so, right? Exactly. So, yes. so it and had to be a really bad echo. Yeah, I don't know where he was. I don't where the fuck were you? We should ask him that. Just call. Him. Hey, where, where the hell were you? Where, well, okay, we'll have to make note of that. Yeah, ask him that question. Yeah, it was a it's his S and M chamber. <laughs> oh, a sex room like yeah. Greg's house. Yeah, like sex room. Maybe has a That's sex why it's all tile. It's very easy to clean. <laughs> Just wipe it all down. There you go. And the clips for hanging directions. Yeah, exactly. Right. Oh, that's where you put the chains up. Oh, it didn't look strong. It looked like like clips like you'd hang um, paper. You can't or... see. Huh? <laughs> How would you know? I zoomed you couldn't, in. You couldn't read fucking pineapple I ice. You said apple pie. <laughs> I saw <laughs> apple. Right in front of I you. I saw apple. I went with apple. It's yellow. <sighs> Jeez, <laughs> and it's yellow. Looks just like just looks like apple just pie. Just like an apple. Just like apple. Just like pie. just like an apple. <laughs> just like an apple. It's yellow. Well, hey, there are golden apples, That's right? right. California golden, golden delicious. Yeah, there you go. See, See? thank you very much. Oh, All right, right. A, a volunteer was attacked by a tiger at Carol Baskin's Big Cat Rescue in Tampa. Oh my goodness! A longtime volunteer at Big Cat Rescue, the Florida Animal Sanctuary, profiled the Netflix's Tiger King was attacked by a tiger during a morning mm. feeding sanctuary. Confirmed to CNN. A story from CNN. Yeah. Oh, We're moving up. Oh, the volunteer who worked at the Carol Baskin, founded sanctuary for five years, had gone to feed the tiger Kimba, 
Kimba. On Thursday, when she noticed a tiger was locked out of the section of its cage where it usually fed. Uh oh. <laughs> what do you go in there? Oh, it's like, locked out. Oh, it's there. not in here. Let me go check. The it out. volunteer opened the gate to let it through without asking a coordinator. Big Cat Rescue said in a statement to CNN. She uh. reached her arm through the cage to unclip the second door, breaking protocol. Not allowed. You never break protocol. According to the sanctuary, they want to make sure they. We all know that that's not normal practice. Right. And Kimba grabbed the volunteer's arm and no. tore it off at the shoulder. Well, hey, now you're same level with uh, Mr. Joe Exotica. You know, that which is true. That? Yeah, I mean, both lost. Not- now the real question here is, I mean, I don't know if anybody's seen the documentary, but when that person lost their arm, right, in wherever the fuck it was, Oklahoma or whatever, yeah. type, you know, they're all about it. They're like. Take the arm. I'm going back to work. Now, I want to know. five days. Yeah. I want to know how this person's response is. Like, ah, you know what? I'm done. Well, let's yeah. move on with the story. Okay. Yes, please. Another volunteer oh, heard the attack. Me, excuse me. Excuse yeah, me. Sorry. Ran. So sorry. Don't touch the screen. Yeah, he gets very upset when I enter. Energy. Another volunteer heard the attack and ran over. The tiger released its grip on the arm. Coworkers attempted to stop the bleeding and save the injured volunteer's arm before an ambulance arrived about 20 minutes later. Ooh, a long time. <laughs> They're like, yeah, 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 we'll get that. You, th- you uh, got a call from a tiger place. It would do uh, yeah, there was a tiger has ripped off the arm. Oh, okay, well, we're... There's at, nothing we're... we can do about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's nothing we can do for Where her. Where is the sorry. actual arm at? <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're in the middle of lunch right now. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, we're on another call. Yeah. Uh, Tell the guy to hang tight. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was a woman. Is there any was an ice? Woman. Is there ice anywhere? <laughs> Did you put it on ice? Kimba was placed in quarantine for the next 30 days, Big Cat Rescue said. But, That'll teach him. But Should've was correct. just acting normally due to the presence of food and opportunity. An arm. An arm. So. And human contact. Yeah. Sanctuary said the volunteer, still conscious after the attack, insisted she didn't want Kimba to be punished for biting her. Uh, oh, no. One tiger, of those. Tiger rips off my arm. Shoot it. I swear shoot my, it. My dog bites my kid. I fucking axe him out back instantly. <laughs> we're not, I'm not, even, we're not no even discussion. going. Yeah, we're not we're going to the kettle. Anybody. Yeah, it's just the 45. No just test. A, <laughs> fucking no, old no. yeller style. <laughs> no. CNN yeah, no, has sorry. reached out to the Hillsborough County Fire Rescue for more information on the attack and is waiting to hear back. The department told CNN affiliate WFTF. It responded to the scene and that no one person was taken to the hospital with serious injuries. What? Somebody was it really high when they off. answered that. That's not it ripped it off. They're like, the yeah, way. no, it's fine. Maybe it just <laughs> bit her. Maybe it didn't tear it off. Maybe but, maybe she had information on Carol Baskin's <laughs> husband. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you hey, know what? Can we just oh. reach in there and unhook that latch? It's oh, fine. The right. cat yeah, won't even totally bother you. Yeah, totally cool. Yeah, totally cool. Yeah. It's against protocol, the Mr. Cat's Baskin. Not that no, big. no, it's fine. The it's cat's fine. over there. Yeah, yeah. What'd you say about <laughs> my fine. husband, my ex? Yeah, no. <laughs> you said you know what? You're yeah. in a family oh. of money. I'm sorry, blackmail. What? No. Oh yeah, no. Kimba's hungry. <laughs> Kimba's hungry. Can't get. Oh, not food. in her cage. Oh, so weird. Go in there and check that out. Yeah, here, here's some body lotion made of sardine oil. I'm wearing that new perfume you gave me. So it's just like meat. <laughs> Here, drape Maybe. this around your neck. <laughs> just hold the steak out in front of him. Yeah, it's, it it's fine. It's, it'll be perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Mm-hmm. Allegedly. Allegedly, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's, it's all alleged. Always got thrown. Always got thrown. Allegedly, yeah. So what else? That's got? all I got. That was it. That, that was, was your news. That was the top story. The one last slow, slow news week. Well, we <laughs> threw away seven pages about that <laughs> the, holiday cigar we're not getting. So yeah. Well, hey, I'm sorry, Mike. Do you have a listener of the week? Nope. Nope. No listener of the week this week. <sighs> you really kind of half-assed it. Me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you always say that you're the guy that's going to handle this. So like, I got, we're at 50 uh, minutes. Yeah, but I've handled where's, it. Where's your listener It's a whole week? show. There's got to be a listener of the week always. No, it doesn't. Yeah. We had two last week. We did have two. And yours is very moody, by the way. I like I like mine. <laughs> very, very moody. On he, yeah. Well, he's like, no. I mean, he was a hundred percent correct. He, was, he said, "Excuse me, he was not your listener of the no, week." No, he was not because uh, I picked a blind man that you beat up at the <laughs> gym. Apparently. Oh, so. uh, well, he's not a listener. How's he gonna listen on this podcast? Gonna have a, I mean, his he can listen. Is probably a lot better. Yeah, his now hearing that he's works fine. But how do you get to it on the phone? Somebody doesn't work. <clears throat> Braille. Uh, you could just say, hey, you can say the, the name. There's I, Braille apps. On, <laughs> there's Braille apps. <laughs> All right. Jeez, the screen man, swells so up with little buttons. It's ridiculous. <laughs> little nubs and stuff. So you don't have a listener? It's got to be a listener. Come on. Some, some, give me somebody. <clears throat> oh, it was uh, Mr. Coop's birthday this week. It was Mr. Coop's birthday. He could be listening of the week Ooh. again. He likes me listening of the week. Who we got? I don't know. Hurry up, brother. It's going to go off. I'm trying to look. Have we done Andrew McCreary lately? Yeah, we did. Yes. Andrew yes. 
I'm glad this package arrived. I was tracking it yeah, all weekend. Man. Oof, it, dude, USPS is really fucking. It never said it was ever scanned in at the post oh, office. Oh yeah, man. I just had that. I had that again with uh, another customer. Like, hey, it says delivered. It's not here. I'm like, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, he called or he texted or something. Andrew did Friday, and we looked it up real quick. And I, I remember doing it. I sent it out. And it never says scanned at the post. It just says ticket was made or whatever it is. It's like when Christmas comes around, the USPS they just completely lose their fucking minds. Right. And then you throw COVID on top of that and they're, you know. Well, it was a heavier box. Too. They bought a box of cigars and a sampler and blood. So, so it's more harder for them to move Well, it, it mean, probably went to a different bucket or cart, whatever they put those things in. I think it really happens for like a hub-to-hub scenario. Probably. So there are specific hubs and I'm willing to bet that if you have an outbreak at one of these hubs, you know, then they oh, work yeah, on a skeleton yeah. crew and they're already inundated with packages for, from COVID. Now, you know, Years ago, I bought some sunglasses, and they went back and forth from this post office to Altamont, oh. back and forth, because Mike, they Esteban, couldn't, Mike, they couldn't Esteban, read it, Mike, so I kept going back Esteban, and forth, Mike, Esteban, Mike. and I had to get the uh, postmaster general over here involved, and he had to watch for it to come back. <laughs> like, I've got to grab it. Take the package. Don't you worry. <laughs> so about three weeks later, he called me and goes, I have your sunglasses. <laughs> like, you know, at this point, I don't even want them. You know what? Send them back. Send them back. I don't want them. <laughs> I went to the mall. I picked some up. <laughs> right. Oh, I ordered that battery. Still hasn't come. That's nice. It's supposed to come Wednesday. And I've been to Target three times since then. And I go, well, I can't buy it now because, uh, like I said, ordered from Amazon. <laughs> Just hit the button. I'll be here. Uh, I'll be here the next day, 20, you said. 2021. Right. Nope. Still on its mm. way. But other stuff I've ordered has come in. Oh, okay. Well, I'm excited to uh, review the uh, Death Bucket 2. It's a totally different... Totally different totally blend different. from a totally it's different co- factory. completely different experience. It'd be great if we had the main You, should, you should wear the ring while you smoke it. Oh. Uh, it's going to be a necklace piece for me for a while. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I can't wait to see him. What is that? What are you wearing? Are like, you oh, it's my necklace. It's my necklace. What's it to? Yeah. 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 It's it's a, you don't touch it. It's none of your damn business. <laughs> Should wear it tucked in your shirt so he doesn't so it's so kind of bulging. It's kind I mean, of bulging. Cool, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's very What do you cool. think of this? <laughs> yeah, it's the devil. It's cool. I bought it at the flea market this week. You know, it's totally my style. Yeah. I'm all about all about really large pieces of jewelry. Really? No, not gaudy. Real, yeah. real big, large hey. chrome pieces. Yeah, I like yeah. those. Chrome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, came with rims. You see the ankle bracelet I wear. It looks like a suit of armor. Uh, yeah. I got it. Speaking of which, is there a wall charger anywhere? <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Well, hey, no listener of the week. I expect better from you. <clears throat> hey, you know what? You get what you pay for. <sighs> what? You get what you pay for. <laughs> <laughs> it's about three cookies worth. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. Cookies. Yeah. I still want a cookie now. Yeah, well. And that whore brownie thing. Oh, I just want to know, with, with your current brownie. actions, you're entitled to like 25% of one cookie. <laughs> so I'm going <just> <laughs> that, to bring it in and say, wait, and cut it off, and then eat the other part. Give me the it. ear. Yeah. The ear from Biden. Or the Biden ear. The Biden ear. Yeah. Hey, and take the top off of the head. It's the best part. You hear me? Just the like, best part's the ear. Yeah, the best part's the ear. It's <laughs> a, a Mike Tyson. <laughs> you didn't talk about, uh, what's his name, boxing? Um, what? Mm. Uh, I didn't watch. That, that is a good time. That was last week, What's it? the guy's name? Logan yada yada? Logan Paul. Logan Paul is going to now box. What the fuck? Floyd, am I? Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Nobody wants to box the other guy? No, Floyd Ma- F- when, What? Nate Robinson? Here. No, no, the guy. That guy's still unconscious. That guy's still dead. Yeah, Nate Robinson is. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, no, the guy, the guy still face down in the ring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in all the pictures, he's <laughs> still face down in the ring. He's still there, guys. He's still there. You haven't woke him up yet. They have not woke him up. You're talking about Tyson and uh, Roy there Jones? There we go. Nobody wants to fight Tyson again? I'm Tyson, sure somebody Tyson will fight. Will, I think that fight's going to happen I'm, again. It, Tyson Roy Jones? I think it's going to be a rematch. There's I, no way those two guys are ending on a draw like that. I feel like that's what they wanted. Like, no, that outcome no, was. It was a. It wasn't sanctioned anyway, so it had to be a draw. First of all, Tyson won that fucking yeah, fight Tyson all won. day. They couldn't call a winner, but you know they they know going in there that they're only expected to land body shots anyway. Right. But did you see Roy Jones like round round through round sitting in the corner? He's like, "What oh the God. fuck did I do to <laughs> How myself? How much am I getting paid? Like, like round three, like dude's this, breathing out of yeah. his mouth. I know it's like round one. I'm like, "You're fucking the dumbest. Uh, why would I do this? I'm, yeah. You know." Well, how much did he make? I, it was all for charity. Yeah, they, they got paid. They donated. No, it. they gave it to charity. They didn't get paid. No, they. I mean, they Is asked Tyson, Tyson making a remake. Tyson uh, did making it to a, get in uh, shape. Yeah, Tyson asked at the end. They somebody asked it. Well, would you yeah, would you get into the real WBA or whatever the fuck it's called? Get and I he, will get in the ring. No, he's like, no, I'm doing better things for better people. I'm helping mm-hmm. people. It's like, yeah, okay. 
<laughs> you, like there when, was there a certain time when Tyson makes a statement and you're just like, yeah, I'm just gonna shut up now. Yeah, you well, know, like there. I piss him off. I listened to the Joe Rogan interview and and like there were times when Joe Rogan would laugh and he's like, uh, I'm not being funny. And Joe Rogan's like, okay. right, yes, sir. No, yo, yo. Yeah, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm not being funny. Oh, uh, okay. And this oh, guy like Tyson sounds... ever says that then. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. it's time to get in line. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a cookie? <laughs> Here, you've earned this. <laughs> Get a whole cookie. All right. All right, episode 151. Those are correct over there now. Oh, very nice. And we're doing uh, Secret Show 68 today. Very excited. Very excited about the Death Bucket 2. Dun, dun, dun. All right, I'm going to turn this off then. Go ahead. All right. If you like to like the Manny, the cookie, Manny, the thank cookie, you. The cookie company, one more time. Yeah, goblet of goodies. Yeah, Check goblet of goodies. And goblet of goodies. And Check Manny, thank you very much for uh, coming on to the show. Yes, and do you uh, call him Manny around the house? No, I don't. No, no I don't. Just curious. No, I, don't. I don't. I really don't call him much. I hardly see him. Yeah, oh. to be honest. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, mm-hmm. uh, we're on opposite schedules. You know? Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Very busy. He's very busy. Very busy. Super busy. Yeah, super busy man. Super busy man. Yeah. Flying drones. Yeah, flying yes. drones. Yes. UAV. Right. Hey, look, Do you have your own drone at home? No. No. So, like, that's, the, that's funny you know, that you asked, though, because whenever I tell anybody that I work on drones, they think it's a little handheld one. <laughs> Until you see it in person, yeah, but it's the, an but actual size, full-size helicopter. <laughs> the size of your phone, and you just... <laughs> yeah, no, I wish. <laughs> that would be way yeah. easier. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that one broke. I'm just sending another oh, one. No. Another one. Yeah, no. The, when the, if <laughs> this helicopter drawer, crashes, drawer, someone's going to lose a job. It's like, yes. okay. So oh, you're going to do 25 had. to life. <laughs> full-size drone helicopters. So there it is. All right. Uh, we got to go. Bye. This has been a Cigar Hustlers podcast, a Mike and Mike production. Be sure to listen every Tuesday at 10 a.m. for all new episodes. Hi, I'm doing I'm Husto Iroa. Raw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just don't have to do a single uh, single podcast ever again. Perfect. Ever. I'm good, Mike and Mike. How are you guys doing? <laughs> the Hojo D. De- Ma- Hojo! It's the Hojo! <laughs> the moderator. You didn't even let him fuck it up all the way. <laughs> Uh, I gotta get past Hojo. Go on. I, I don't even have to try to hit He's the not even gonna try. We're gonna we're gonna cover a lot of ground here, Mike. All right. Try to keep up. That's a sign of a good podcast. Maybe right? like <laughs> four cigars when I walked in the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. End this. Mike, 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 Mike,